Are you looking for a new career? Are you looking to retool your life? Let's take a closer look at Florida Panhandle Technical College. Welcome back. We find ourselves today on the campus of Florida Panhandle Technical College here right now with Assistant Director Brian Lee talking about the golf tournament that's coming up, um, it, the part of the foundation of the college uh, to, uh, to raise funds, to do some of the things that ordinary budget doesn't take care of. When we come back, we're going to talk about all this and more, uh, including the 35 degree and certification programs available right here at Florida Panhandle Technical College. We'll be right back. Welcome back. As mentioned, our guest today is Brian Lee, Assistant Director. Is it Assistant Director or what, what's your actual title, Brian? Assistant Director. Okay, Assistant Director here at the Technical College. Thanks for taking the time. Again, you guys are uh, right up on top of spring break now. I know you've got a, probably a to-do list a mile long trying to get buttoned down. But thanks for taking the time. And I think it was important because at the end of next week, we have the golf tournament that benefits the, uh, the foundation. Talk a little bit about the nuts and bolts of the tournament. It's a three-man scramble. We'll be at Sunny Hills Golf Course. It's next Friday, the 27th. Uh, shotgun start at 8 a.m. Uh, lunch will be provided. Um, it is a best ball. I get confused if that's best ball or select shot, but for a, uh, a golfer of my caliber, it's, uh, <laughs> it makes it enjoyable because you get to if you have one good person on your team, that helps out a lot. You're not in the woods like I normally am all the time. Now, are you going to be selling mulligans? I believe so. That's usually and typically a very good part of the fundraising of any of these events where you have golfers of, of different skill levels. Yes, yes, definitely. It gives me a second chance a lot. It helps to, to level the playing field. Of course, we always have ringers come in. I, some team always wants to sandbag by bringing in some, some guys with some skills. This is an opportunity, you know, so often we're hit up to donate to a cause, to a, to a nonprofit or to, everybody's got a great cause. You can pen a check and feel good about that, but this is an opportunity uh, to donate some money and participate and have a day of fun at the same time. Definitely, definitely. They have uh, uh, sponsorships available. It's $300 for a sponsorship that includes uh, a sponsoring a whole plus a team, or you can do a whole sponsorship for $125. Now, if somebody wants to get involved, and obviously we're just a week away from the event now, but uh, obviously we always watch the weather for these things. So I would imagine a lot of entries into this kind of a tournament are last minute. So yeah. you got a week. It's not that long. What numbers would be the best for them to contact? The best number would be Gary Hartman at 850-773-3338. Okay, that number's on the screen right now. Gary Hartman, uh, uh, good friends with Jim Town. Jim Town is currently the president of the foundation, is that correct? Yes, sir. Um, what do these monies typically go for, Brian? Uh, the foundation exists, obviously, to support the school in many ways um, and provide funding for things that ordinarily the school would not be able to carve out of their regular budget uh, or for special projects. Um, but uh, what typically would these monies go for? It varies greatly. I mean, we have students that um, come in and utilize it for tuition. We have students utilize it for books, for uh, lab fees, for certification exams. And uh, through the CFEF matching grants, we're actually able to, to get some additional dollars for the money that's raised through the foundation. That money can be uh, extended even farther f through a state matching grant uh, system. That's huge. If you make $1,000, that becomes 2000 If you raise 5000 that becomes 10000 It doesn't exactly. take long for that incrementally to increase. Yes, yes. Um, What's, uh, what, what's your association, obviously, aside from being assistant director of the school, what's your association and what is your relationship to and with the foundation? Well, I serve as, I'm a trustee in the foundation because I make donations into the foundation, but then I also set as a ex officio non-voting member, just kind of a liaison between the foundation and the technical college, um, just to make sure that the communication between the two. Yeah, and you can help let the foundation know what your current needs are and that sort of thing. I was unaware that the bulk of this went to student-specific um, costs. That's really good. Um, so basically, these would all be considered scholarships of sorts. You're helping people with tuition, books, whatever, exactly. trips, uh, that sort of thing. 
Um, you've got uh, Skills USA as part of uh, our campus here. Recently came back from the regional competition, soon to go to state competitions. Um, they have some fundraising issues of their own. Mm -hmm. Does the foundation help them in any way? They will. They will also, um, we will get donations that the foundation makes, especially if there are high school students that are competing in that as well. That opens up some additional avenues for some, some matching grant money as well. Um, the, our Skills USA just gives our students that ability to go and showcase the skills that they've learned here and uh, compare them against skills that other students from other uh, technical colleges and technical centers across the state um, and kind of gauge how we're doing compared to some of the other ones and how our students are. If somebody hears about the foundation and understands the good works it does, doesn't necessarily want to be a, involved with this golf tournament or maybe not available. If they want to get involved, if they want to make a donation, um, would that same phone number be appropriate to get involved in some other way? It would. It would. Or they can always also contact the school at 638-1180, extension 302 or extension 305. Either one of them, and we can and give them some, further, some more information, send them out some information as well. Those numbers again on the screen. Um, the foundation is, is kind of a, a sleeper. They, people don't know that it exists unless they have direct contact with it. Obviously does good works. What's going on with the campus right now? What's new and exciting? Well, we're uh, right now just getting ready in the springtime, summer. Battle of Bands is coming up. We've got graduation coming up. Uh, I believe graduation is the 12th of May. Um, I have to make sure on that date, um, but we're staying busy. Uh, everybody's kind of finishing up the coursework that they got going on. Those that will be getting done, getting their graduation stuff in order, and um, just we're doing a facelift. You'll see a lot of our buildings. We're painting the exterior of our buildings, changing up. We're getting new signage because of the name change. So we're getting our quotes together for uh, trying to do some things a little. Uh, little newer and, and more modern uh, than, than what we've had in the past. I know I've noticed over the last year or so that you've been replacing the lettering on the, uh, uh, on the program building uh, faces, uh, again, bringing up a more modern look, obviously new paint scheme with the name change. Mm -hmm. um, the campus looks great. Um, for those who drive by and don't no longer see the lettering, um, they, some, I've had some people express questions about you know, what's going on. Are they out of business? Are they closing down? It's kind of a, a long process because obviously you got to wait for good weather before you can paint. Uh, you have to order signage and all of that sort of thing. But um, at the end of the day, this is going to look like a spanking brand new campus. You really are truly doing a facelift. I know yeah. you have a lot of uh, pressure washing of the brick uh, facades and that sort of thing. We're trying. We're trying hard. Um, the signage, I, I mean, it was not anything that I had ever dealt with before, and it's been a little more of a challenge. And, and then also trying to uh, be responsible as well in, in the direction that we go, and there's what we want to do, and then there's once we find out how much it costs, there's what we uh, feel uh, physically responsible in doing and, uh, and trying to find that nice balance between the two. Thanks for all you do. Thanks for the great job that you do. Um, as assist, assistant director, you, you wear multiple hats, and it's whatever has to be done, and wherever the hottest fire is is where you can generally find Brian Lee. But um, you do a great job. Uh, you're responsible for, obviously, the grounds and discipline and, and lots of other things. Uh, many times you are in the background uh, and you make your boss look good, which is your job, too. Mm -hmm. uh, Martha, very dynamic, does a lot of good things. But uh, for what it's worth, thank you. I know that you don't necessarily get a lot of attention, nor do you look for it. But um, a lot of things wouldn't get done around here were it not for the attention that you, you pay to them. So thank you for your, uh, your, your job uh, and, and your, the, your complaint completion of that job and everything that you do to make Florida Panhandle Technical College truly the success that it is. Uh, thank you. Thank you. And, and thanks for the opportunity. Uh, don't forget golf tournament. Uh, again, that date is what? March 27th. Okay, a week from today. If you're watching this, it's going to be sometime in the, the, the very close future. If you uh, are watching this after the fact, which more than likely uh, many of you will be, uh, don't, take, uh, don't miss the opportunity to get involved with the foundation here at Florida Panhandle Technical College. Uh, as Brian points out, they make available many student uh, services and uh, 
uh, uh, take care of many of the fee structures and scholarships to enable the students who are here to enjoy that 35 plus uh, degree and certification programs. Mm -hmm.